Hey Godzilla gang. Here's the Godzilla vs. Kong team. They're setting aside their differences and working together, as they almost certainly will in the movie, to fight. Probably Mecha Godzilla, or like, really big Alec. I gotta say, it's pretty nice to use a gimmick team where the gimmick is that I have to use Pokemon that are like, good. They're, like, really fucking good. Quick preface, even though this team has Godzilla and Kong on it, this video is for Godzilla gang eyes only. If you're Kong crew, get out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Go eat a banana. Go, go be led inexorably to your demise by a woman's beauty. You dumb idiot. Mecha Godzilla misfits, you guys can stay. But you better keep your fucking mouth shut. Tyranitar is great. Tyranitar is the boy. He's Godzilla. He's literally just Godzilla. And it's fucking awesome. Godzilla is so fucking awesome. I love Godzilla. I was raised on Godzilla. Because my mom was... tired. Choice Band Tyranitar is extra perfect because, like Godzilla, it is so gloriously unelegant. You send it out and it's just like, well, I'm gonna click the button. What do you got? Rillaboom is obviously incredible, but I have kind of avoided using it in Gen 8 so far because Grassy Glide is really fucking hard to say when the pressure's on. And also because it beats every dumbass gimmick team I try to make. Obviously, Rillaboom is the only thing stopping me from using crabs in OU. But he is helping me clickbait pretty hard right now, so I'll deal with it, I guess. Rillaboom is so good at clicking U-turn. Rillaboom is like the best fucking Pokemon in the game at clicking U-turn. You dip out of all the birds so you can just click Stone Edge with Tyranitar. It rules. Pivot Landorus, as usual, has OU and its oppressive grip. You click Stealth Rock and you click U-Turn. My god, when will the meta be free of this tyrant? It's got Toxic over the usual knockoff so that you can put big bodies like Hippodon and Tangrowth on a timer so they can't just pivot into Tyranitar forever. Zapdos is hazard removal that switches into Melmetal and Kartana, and also has a beak that's adapted for harvesting wood-boring grubs. Protect Leftovers Melmetal is a steel type that really benefits from the grassy terrain. It has superpower over the usual Earthquake to try to lure Ferrothorn. This could also be a Heatran, I guess, to deal with Volcarona, but Mothra would never betray Godzilla and his allies. And also, Melmetal is for the gamers. Life Orb Dragon Dance 3 Attacks Dragapult is an admittedly pretty arbitrary win condition, but it does really appreciate Tyranitar's wall breaking. And it's just cool. Dragapult's just fucking cool. That's why I wanted to use it. And it's not because this man told me to. I don't even know this man. Who are you? Who is this man? Ready? Go! So while you definitely want Corviknights to switch into you with Choice Band Tyranitar, you probably don't want to do this, where you just Stone Edge them when they're already in, because they could easily just body press you. But if there's one lesson that the King of Monsters has taught me, it's that you should never let fear stop you from doing what's really important. Fucking smashing shit up. I feel like this should almost certainly be any other move but Hurricane on Zapdos. Like, probably Heat Wave. To be honest, the only reason I gave it a Hurricane was because Swampert is, like, kind of a problem. I really wish Zapdos learned Scorching Sands like Moltres does. I, you know, I think it's about time that Zapdos got even better. 
Oh, and this could also be Lash Out over Crunch on Tyranitar for sick trick shots on Lando. But Crunch is just so fucking raw. You just take a bite. Hey, does someone care to remind me uh, who the pullout king is? You think they don't know him, the pullout king? Rick! Yeah? Who's the pullout king? You are! That's right! Since Heatran is, like, actually fucking impossible to switch into, Tyranitar whooping it so bad is probably its best attribute. Other than, you know, being so darn handsome. Obviously, clicking Stone Edge with Choice Band Tyranitar is, like, already pretty viscerally satisfying. But it is surprisingly on theme, considering that it was, like, basically Showa Godzilla's signature move to just fucking pick up a rock and just fucking hit you in your stupid fucking face with a fucking rock. So I did have an opportunity a couple turns ago to bait the Rillaboom into killing Tyranitar so I could just set up on it with Dragapult. I didn't do it then because Banded Grassy Glide is either a 2-hit KO, or is very close to one after Life Orb Recoil. But Tyranitar getting the crunch means that I can just go ahead and pull the trigger, because then I can Dragon Dance and Sucker Punch it before it can Grassy Glide me twice. And Tyranitar has already dealt with everything else on this team that's not going to get one shot by Dragapult, so I can just go for game right now. Alright, competitive insight over. Big Dinosaur, give me Serotonin. <laughs> This team is so fucking funny. This is like a team I would make. No rock resist makes my monster grow, so I definitely just clicked Tyranitar three nanoseconds into this team preview. And since only a baby genius would actually click Earthquake against my team on turn two, I reviewed all of our options with Japan's top scientists. And we concluded that I should click my 100 base power stab move again. Of course they're going to U-turn here, but I would rather put my Zapdos into a bad position than my Landorus, considering that I'm super going to need Lando to deal with the 50% of this guy's team that are electric types. However, when the Lando comes back out, I really don't want this to turn into a gamer moment after I miss three hurricanes in a row in the sun. So I am going to switch Rillaboom into it now, because the worst case scenario for me that this guy would reasonably want to do would be to knock off me, and honestly, getting my choice band knocked off in this matchup wouldn't be that bad. That knockoff was like an okay hedge, but I would say the main downside was that it was an option that wasn't U-turn. So actually, let me just improve my Rillaboom set here real quick. Dollars to Donuts, when this guy switched his Coco into Zapdos, he forgot that Defog removes electric terrain. I can say this with certainty because I also forgot. I know that I can click Volt Switch against this team with impunity, even though they have a Volt Absorber, because no one is going to switch Zera Aura into Zapdos unless they were Xanatussin and have their third eye open. It's pretty funny that this guy put Torkoal on his team just to make the Heatran scary, but all I have to do is send out Tyranitar, just incidentally, when it would already be a good play anyway, and then the Sandstream activates and it's just like, no, you're not allowed to eruption me. If you eruption me, I will cry and go home. This guy is fucking committed to the combo though, because he still thinks that the Torkoal is worth preserving. Which, I respect. I get it. Sometimes you have to play for the montage. Oh, I get it. Oh my god. Tyranitar is fucking crazy. I guess if I was real, I would have Stone Edge, though. But, I'm not real. None of this is real. Wake up. Oh, it's Landorus that you switch into electric moves? Alright. Let's test out this little theory of yours. I feel kind of bad letting Tyranitar just die to this flamethrower after being responsible for, like, all of the progress I've made so far. Especially because I don't even do anything cool, like, set up on it. If the Heatran had even a little bit of chip damage, I would have Dragon Danced with Dragapult and tried to Phantom Force it. But I didn't want to get cheesed, so I just fucking clicked Earthquake. Like a hero. 
However much HP Landorus still has is all it needs for the Reggie Lecky to be a bad Pokemon, so I'm fine with just sacking the Zapdos for it. Revalecki, though, 100% would have beat me. If he exploded on the Landorus, I would have gotten fucking swept by the Zara Aura. So, put that one up there in your little walnut, okay? And keep it there. And, uh, spoilers for my next video, I guess. Anyway, with the evil vanquished, our heroes return to Monster Island, where Hedora has the gas. <laughs>